Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Lawrence Roberge and this is Pathophysiology 1. I'm just going to go over a couple of uh, basic concepts here. I want to greet you and welcome you to this course. I know it's extremely important for many students as they continue on their road to nursing success. But it helps if you plan ahead. Just like any journey, you have to kind of know the pathway, what supplies you might need, what you're going to be expected to do, etc. So let's go through a few things. First off, as you can see here on your uh, front page here, there are going to be announcements. I posted some. Also, you may want to print out the vital signs guide because it'll help you as you start working with concepts of vital signs for your case studies. If you go back... Here, you will notice that you're going to have a syllabus, and you'll have modules. We're going to start off with week one module. If you take a look at that, that'll tell you basically um, what you're going to have for objectives, what topics you're going to cover. What you should be able to do is click on week one lecture, and then it's going to be a PowerPoint with a voiceover. Uh, there are some extra videos here to help you to review such concepts uh, basic chemistry, introduction, things like that. But as you're going through week one, you're also going to notice a few other points. One case study. Now, I have posted the uh, time and the link for the Zoom meeting for this particular class in the announcements. You'll have a quiz before the end of the week, which I encourage you not to wait till the last minute. Murphy's Law. You wait till the last minute. Oops! Sometimes things happen. Also, what's different this time than from previous courses is that you're going to be able to use Davis Advantage, but you will not earn any grade points from it. Using Davis Advantage is sort of a review tool to help you to know, do I really know this or not? You should have your textbook go over it, go over the lecture, go over any other material that is helpful here and also print up your case study the document here download it print it up and be ready for the case study time that we meet now some weeks you're going to see things get very very busy you're going to have not only a quiz but exams these will tell be told to you on that schedule, what I encourage you to do in each and every module is plan out when you're going to do things, okay? In other words, this time and this time I'll have this done by maybe Monday, by Tuesday I'll have the discussion, by Wednesday I may have, let's say, a case study, or Tuesday I may have a case study, but you want to be on top of everything, okay? Now, um, attendance is going to be taken in the case studies, so it's absolutely essential that you are there. A lot of students, what they'll do is they may ask questions, etc. That's wonderful. Some students may sit down and just continue to keep writing notes. That's important, too. I would encourage you to come in if you have notes or questions. If you make notes, that's great. That's why I encourage people to download the case study uh, sheet and be able to write off notes. As you can see, you're going to be very busy for the next 15 weeks. You're going to cover a variety of topics over throughout these weeks. Week 15 is important also. That's a week. We don't have the date yet. That'll be announced and then I'll post it when you're going to have your final exam. Okay. Um, that is where you go on campus and do the exam. Now, at all times, if something is absolutely out of your control, you need to notify the campus and uh, notify your academic advisor and also notify your instructor. As you can see here, there's information here about myself how to contact me, it's a little sticky there, 
but my email is present right down here. If you need to get a hold of me, send me an email. I will usually answer within 24 hours. They, they allow me up to 48, but I check my email every day. Yes, even on Saturdays and Sundays. Okay? So I wanted to welcome you to uh, the Pathophysiology class. And you want to also keep in mind that you're going to get very busy at the very beginning. So it helps to set up your own little calendar, what things you're going to do each day, etc. I look forward to seeing you in class. Have a great day.